Hi, I'm Matt, and this is way too many LEDs I should be playing with, that's for sure. We took about 410 LEDs on this board, and it looks amazing! Now, currently this is driven from Arduino Nano, and that's not a big deal, because uh, both uh, LEDs and uh, the Arduino they're using um, 5 volt logic, but we are not here to talk about Arduino and 5 volt logic. We are here, let me just unplug this. We are here to talk about ESP. Uh, I have ESP32 and ESP8662. So this is uh, one and this is the other. I'm talking about the driving these, they use 3.3 logic. Uh, driving the individually addressable LEDs. The LEDs I've got in here that these are WS2812B. So those I've got. And uh, I had the logic lever converters and I tried to use them and they didn't work. Reached out to the internet and told, internet told me that uh, my logic lever converter was too slow. So four weeks later, these arrived. Obviously, they are too small to, to tell you what it is. This is integrated circuit, and the model number is SN74HCT245N. Lovely name. And uh, believe me or not, this is capable of translating that 3.3 logic into 5 volt logic. And that's all you need really to drive this beautiful board with your ESP. So let's get that hooked up, and I'll show you how to hook it up and how to make it work. Easy enough. So I've got the chip set already pinned into uh, my breadboard and it's facing this direction so you can see the small mark on this side. Hopefully you can see that. Now we have to do a few things. Uh, I have 5 volt supply on this power rail and that's what we have to hook up to. So uh, first, the very last pin on this side, this is ground and we need to hook it up to ground. Easy enough, done. Now the very first on uh, the opposite side, this is uh, power, this is VCC, and that's 5 volts. So, simple enough. Now, this is DIR, and this is changes, uh, that changes the direction. So we, I we either can uh, get translation from uh, this side to this side, or from this side to this side. And to pull it, we need to pull it high in order to make the transition from 3.3 to 5 volts. So we pull it high. And lastly, we need to put this one into a row. And that's pretty much all you need. Now you have eight channels available. So the channels are shifted by one. So obviously what's going to happen is, so if we're going to use this one to drive, we need to get this one into a third pin, because this is the first channel on that side. and. From this side, we need to drive pin number five from the second pin. So that's the first channel as well. So basically, it jumps from here, from 3.3 logic to 5 logic here. There's a few more things we need to do. Uh, we need to connect the ground of ESP. I've got my ESP here. We need to make a common ground. So we could check what's the common ground. And that's going to go to 5 volt supply. Now, the same rail as is supplying. Uh, in here is supplying the this it's supplying the LEDs. So uh, I think I'm uh, everything's ready. All I need to do is just to power the ESP, and I'm gonna use just a cable to do so. I've already pre-programmed the ESP uh, using a color palette from Fast LED Library, and I used Arduino Uno to oh, sorry Arduino IDE to um, program it. So everything ready, let me switch the camera and show, show you how it works. So I'm ready to power up the ESP, so let's power it up. The ESP is up and running, and now all we have to do is just switch the power supply. And ta-da! We have everything working nicely. So all LEDs, they start from this side, they're going like this, all the way through, so I'm able to power um, 410 LEDs without any problems, they're all working great, and uh, yeah, and that's all you need to really to drive them. I'm looking forward to write my own custom software, because I want to include some Wi-Fi libraries, uh, because I don't want to have a fixed script, I want to be able to dynamically change 
the display. I want this matrix to be functional. And later on, I'll be uh, designing a beautiful, big matrix so you can display letters and uh, animations and what's whatever you want. So, yeah, uh, you can... Uh, Gloriously stir at this for a few more seconds before I just finish uh, finish the video. I'll make sure to put a nice really ending um, Video for you to see Thanks so much for watching guys, if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section below this video. Follow me on social media, visit my website where you're gonna find all the schematics for this and a little bit more detailed uh, instructions on how to hook up ESP32 or ESP8266 to individually addressable LEDs like these. Hey, that rhymed. Anyway, I'll see you next time. Bye!